Okay, ladies, I think we are live, which is super exciting. I love it. Yeah. So welcome, everyone. I have two amazing artists with us. Christine, you met with us last month. And then Jennifer is our new artist resident in Navasota. Super excited to have these ladies with us. And we're going to get started. But first, before we do, we do have our College Station Artists in Residence, which will start next month. Super excited for y'all to meet them. Our Bryan Artists in Residence applications start um, at the end of this month. So be on the lookout if you want to be a part of our Artists in Residence programs. And let's start with Christine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Love it. So just in case somebody didn't watch us last month, uh, give us a little bit of background about who you are and why you got started into the arts. All right. I am uh, Christine J. Holton. I am from Durham, North Carolina, and I grew up there. Um, and it's where I currently live. And um, I got started. I mean, I've been creating since I was a kid, you know, um, and I've just been kind of interested. I've been really interested in observing the natural world and have just been kind of engaging with um, with botanical subjects and with nature and um, have wanted to travel and see some new places. And I'm glad for the opportunity to do that with this program. I, I yeah. love it, I love it. And this is a really neat piece. And uh, what was the title? I, I was trying to remember the title of this when you sent it to me, what was it called? <laughs> it was actually um, a, from a live painting event. Um, during the Kentucky Derby. And it was an impressionist kind of view of like the gallery where people were having a derby party. And I'm not sure I titled it. So um, we can just leave that up to uh, our imaginations to come yeah. up with our own title. <laughs> I, I loved it because, you know, the derby just happened was what a couple of weeks ago. And so I was like, check this out. This is perfect. I loved it. And it I love really the, fun the colors. And even the way you did the um, chandeliers, like that was really neat. Thanks. They were really fun subjects to paint. And I, I really didn't know what I was going to paint when I started, but they had to kind of, they were just so bright and beautiful. They kind of had to become central to it, I think. They made well, the room. <laughs> and all the hats. Like, I mean, the Derby is known for the hats. And I, I just, I just love how you did that. Thank you. It was so fun. I was glad to be asked. It was a great opportunity. Cool. So who asked you to do that? Um, the PA Smith Hotel in Navasota. It's this yeah. beautiful restored building um, that is, uh, they've restored it into this very classy, um, just gorgeous uh, place to come stay. And you can host events there. Um, it's right on Railroad Street in Navasota. And they came and uh, asked me if I would be willing to do a live painting during the party and to just interpret the energy of the room and just create something on the spot, um, right. whatever. And they they basically just left it up to me. <laughs> so. All right. Well, she's an awesome, awesome person. And so I, I love how they have just really adapted the culture there in Navasota. And I just love how Navasota just embraces you guys and y'all get to do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, it was super exciting. And Janice Chef was the woman that asked me and she's, she's amazing. So. She is, she's I, 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 I love her. Anytime I can get her involved in something at the Arts Council, I'm asking that lady, she's awesome. I, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what's going on with this piece. Uh, this piece uh, is titled Hearth, and uh, it was inspired by um, a chimney hearth that was that exists in the woods um, off a hiking trail near, near where I live in Durham, North Carolina. And um, it's just it was really striking this place right in the middle of all these trees and the way I just stopped in the middle of a hike and took a photo of it and the way the trees framed it and sort of seemed to be reaching inward. Just really, it seemed to like I don't know, it just was this hyper-focused moment. And um, and hearth brings to mind home, it brings to mind like the center of what's comfortable and that hearth used to kind of be that for somebody. And it just kind of, it just kind of struck me as, as important. And um, and it was the first painting where I, I put an anatomical subject in with a natural setting. It was the very first time I did that and it just kind of felt right. <laughs> Wow, and, and yeah. blue at that, wow. Yeah, 
I don't know what the blue means. It just it, that, that, you know, sometimes you just make choices and it's like, yeah. I'm just going to go with it, you know, figure out words later, maybe. <laughs> oh man, man. Yeah. Very cool. And I like the trees around it. It really makes it central. Yeah. Like Thank even you. the trees, it, it was like the that. trees are pointing to it, you know, like, Hey, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really cool to see in person. But what's going on here? So. So these are lymph nodes. Um, ah, okay. And, yeah, and they're, um, they're happy. They're kind of healthy and happy. And to me, they're kind of dancing. And I totally can see that. Because <laughs> at first I was like, okay, this has got to be something to do with the body because of <laughs> all the stuff I've seen you do. And I was like, okay, what is this? Is this like, you know, because when I was a kid, I was always want my freckles to grow together. So that way I'd have a nice tan. And so I thought <laughs> maybe these were just like big freckles. And I was like, no, that can't be it. And I was like, but they look happy. Whatever is going on, they look happy. And so lymph nodes, why well, didn't I guess that? That's, I like, I totally get it now that you said it. Wow. Lymph nodes. That's so funny. They look a little bit like kinds of seaweed too, as far as the shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but who knows? Maybe that'll, we'll file that away for later. No, I love <laughs> it. Dancing lymph nodes. I love it. That's really cool. And I like the colors. The colors are very bright. They, um, they want, I wanted to do something really bright for this one. Um, because there, I had a dear friend who, um, uh, had lymphoma and was really mm -hmm. struggling. And this was almost a way to kind of paint like healing and health with her in mind. Mm -hmm. It was kind of inspired by her struggle. Um, so yeah, I just love the colors too. Just felt really fun to paint. <laughs> No, I, I love it. Healing, healing, laughing and dancing. You nailed it. I love it. Definitely a healing thing. Wow. They're definitely dancing. What about this one? Um, this is a study of a, um, a primrose, Mexican primrose um, that I, I did here um, when I got oh, here. Wow. And they're just the delicate, um, you know, composition of the flower and the little, the veins, the venation mm -hmm. of like the different, uh, the lines that are visible and the way materials distributed and the petal it made me think of veins, which I just love that pattern. So I just kind of wanted to paint one. <laughs> no, I could see where that would relate to you as much as you, you paint the body and I, wow. Yeah. Well, they're definitely very veiny flowers and petals. Yeah, they're cool. They're everywhere. They're they are everywhere. Uh oh, love this. <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. I love it. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting a dog whenever you sent me this. And I was like, okay, there's Surprise. a story behind this one somewhere. There's other stuff going on. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Animals are like, uh, animals are another, I mean, it's always a living being or system, right? For me and, and animals are like, have always been, they're one of the first subjects I regularly painted. And um, it was just from loving them and wanting to um, try to capture something like the texture, the fur, the eyes. Um, and it's one of the, like I said, one of the first subjects when I started painting that I wanted to work on. And so like, I, I still do um, pet portraits and paint my own animals. And I really love that and enjoy it. So this is one of my favorites. So that's why I sent it in. <laughs> I'm glad you did because I absolutely love their eyes. I mean, just like, a, you know, they're very much paying attention and very happy. Something, yeah. Something's going on. <laughs> this is the only one I think where they're not looking at the viewer too. I don't know. This, it was just a different, different kind of view. So a lot of them that they're looking at you, but. Yeah. yeah. No, and just all the work with the hair, the fur looks fantastic. And you could even see like underlays you know, because fur is not just one dimensional at all. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like that. Thanks. But that was fun to do. Yeah, it really was. I was, I was kind of obsessive with that. I mean, you can go, you can keep, like you said, you can keep going and like noticing more and more. Once you kind of decide to do something realistic, it's, you're kind of committed in a way that um, <laughs> it becomes really serious. <laughs> you know for me uh -huh. anyway so this was a good um example of when that happens 
and you're you know do, y'all are gonna do something this weekend at the Horlock House, right? What's happened? What's happening this weekend? Having an event where people can stop in and um, take part, create their own um, cyanotype, which is uh, kind of a photographic process of uh, making paper sensitive to light. So we will um, we'll be able to prepare paper and we'll already have some prepared for, so all ages can participate in this with some chemicals that make the paper um, sensitive to light. And then we'll have, we have botanical subjects like flowers and leaves and things that we can put on top of it and go outside and let the sun develop an image. And so it only takes about five minutes and people get oh, to come wow. experience what that process is like. And it's an honor, today is International Day of Light. And uh, we're gonna continue to um, practice all week. I'm gonna be creating cyanotypes and we're gonna have that event on Saturday for people that wanna come try it. Wow, I love yeah. that. Light is just so amazing on so many different levels. <laughs> it's really fun. I'm excited. Hope people come out. Uh, I love that. I love that. Really cool. Miss Jennifer, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. So this is your first time with us. So just give us a little bit of information about who you are and why you came to the Navasota Artist in Residence program. Yeah, so I am Jennifer G. Thompson, and originally I was born in Fort Worth, and I grew up actually in Mississippi. I got my uh, undergraduate degree out there, but being born in Texas, I always knew I was a Texas girl, so I always find a way to come back whenever I can, and uh, I got my graduate degree out here um, in Dallas, actually, lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I've lived in Houston, I've lived in Beaumont, area as well. But uh, this past fall, I became a professor of art. I've been teaching graphic design and printmaking at Cameron University. And wow. since I have started there, I knew I was going to have a summer that was free. And I was looking for an opportunity to where I could go off and make some art. And I saw the Navasota Artist Residency. I thought, well, it's in Texas and I get to make art. What, what could be better than that? So I'm really excited it. to be here. <laughs> it's no, really great. We're, we're happy to have you. So yes. let's, let's talk about what, what you have going on here. Yeah, so this is a great image to start with. Um, this is sort of my get back into collage making. This one I made around... 2014, 2015, um, from a vintage life magazine that I was gifted. And instead of preserving it and just keeping it, you know, intact, I thought, no, this is going to be my media. This is going to be what I use, my pieces. So we all have these pieces we're given in life and we have to make the best of it, right? So that's what I tried to do with this. Um, you, you see the guy sort of laying down in the grass, you know, taking a break from his work. Mm -hmm. um, looking up in the sky, kind of dreaming about what could be sort of, you know, what America could be at that time, going to the moon, going to space, you know, unlimited possibilities with our life. And I just kind of identified with that sort of narrative or storytelling. And luckily, this piece that I made in 2014 helped me get into the Lawndale Art Show, the big show around 2015, which was really exciting. Yeah. That does sound exciting. Wow. At first, I thought maybe was well, that that looks like John Wayne down there, but no, that's <laughs> John Wayne. That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. And then you've got a lot, a lot of different things going on here. Yeah, yeah this one's super complex. So sometimes, you know, life can overwhelm us and we have oh. everything going on. You know, it's just staring us in the face sort of with this guy. Just everything's, you know, coming in. But I also think it's really exciting. Uh, black and white. Uh, photography and images and printmaking has always been something that really spoke to me as a person um, individually, you know, looking at Ansel Adams photos or, you know, playing with actual photography with film was really exciting. So I've always had a draw or um, sort of a creative bend towards the black and white as well. So I use multiple magazines and multiple images to make this one to sort of create a complex <laughs> black and white collage for this piece. Oh, well, there's definitely a lot going on there. There's some happy, yeah. 
some sad, some angry. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can dig into that a lot. So I'll just let you, that one sit there. <laughs> yeah, you can dig in that one for, for quite a while. That yeah. one you could definitely yeah. get into even like someone, you know, holding a gun and oh my. Yeah, there's all kinds of things happening in that one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now this yeah. is really unique. Thanks. So this one, um, I took a lot of things related to people, obviously. So it almost becomes sort of a, a totem in a way mm. of, you know, integrating figures, but also a little bit of a mode of travel with uh, the boats or the canoes and the ship at the bottom um, and how we uh, move about in our life. So the musician or dancer at the top uh, to the, you know, the stagnant figures, you just get a glance of who they are or how they communicate and movement, which was an exciting outlet for me. Oh. What about this next one? Is that a tea cup? It is. Cup? Yeah. So this one's called actually cup of tea. And so everything is kind of built around that. I drink a lot of green tea as it is. So it's just, you know, a natural uh, thing for me to have everything sort of centered into that cup, sort of filling it, beautiful things, um, interesting things that sort of spoke to me, black and white figures, jewels, jewelry, strawberries are precious. Uh, gas is precious right now with the shell, right. you know, so kind of speaks to the past and present and, you know, sort of at times we live in sort of this white glove world where everything has to be perfect and maybe it's not. <laughs> so uh, you see the little girl with her flowers. Yeah, no, I like it. She's ready for a tea party. That's right. <laughs> Ready for a tea party and some, just some fun. Not, not, let's not worry about the world for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have our strawberries and our tea. Oh. <laughs> and people, let's just all get along. Everyone needs yeah. to have some tea and let's just yeah. get along. Yeah. Have, have a cucumber sandwich. I love yes. it. Yes. Have a chill break. So this one's not very chill. <laughs> no, it does not look very chill at all. No. no. This one, I feel like kind of speaks a bit more to history and the integration of it. So a lot of these images were printed before I was born, before I was even alive. And so it had sort of their view of historical people or how they were viewed at that time. So in this piece, I tried to mix it up and integrate a diverse group of people all together in one space. So you have some people that think, you know, maybe life is just all, all day at the beach on their little beach blanket or having a little picnic, you know, and, you know, we've, we've gone through a lot, not to get too deep or heavy, <laughs> but we've gone through a lot in our, in our country with our history. Uh, so, you know, there's been battles that have been fought that we've worked through and we're still working through. Um, there's people, you know, who are homeless or don't have homes that are displaced because of, you know, natural disasters or, or you know, vibes. So there, this general theme is called campground. It's the name of this piece. Very interesting. And over this past weekend, you had an event for, what was it? Uh, International Collage Day. So I totally yeah. see why you wanted to do that. <laughs> Wow. So how did it go? It was great. So we celebrated World Collage Day. So people all over the world were also making collage. So I invited people from the community or whomever was in the area to come and make a collage with us. And it was just really exciting to have the opportunity to meet some people in the city because I had literally just gotten here <laughs> on Friday. So it was great to meet some happy people from the community who wanted to get creative and you know, see what collage is about and be involved with that sort of community aspect and building connections and friendships and hopefully relationships. So hopefully I see some of those same people I saw this weekend later on throughout uh, my time with you all. And it was just really exciting to have that opportunity to be able to do that. Oh, I love that. And now maybe they'll all come to Christine's thing yes. with all the, the lights. Absolutely. I, I love that. That's just a great community. 
So y'all hang tight. Let's run through some things that are happening here at the Arts Council. We have June Dudley painting her legacy, an absolutely amazing artist uh, who is in our lobby right now. If you love landscapes or country and western you're absolutely going to love her pieces and then we also have an artist out of austin which um these pieces are so bright and so colorful you do not want to miss these amazing pieces that we have uh with nino she is oh my gosh she was so sweet uh and such a um delightful person to me at her um opening last week and then we have summer camps coming which is super exciting from june to july check out our website and i know christine you're going to be teaching a class maybe we'll sweet talk jennifer into teaching some classes that would be awesome and also if you are not a member you need to be a member to help support all the amazing things that we get to do because we can't do what we do without you and we're going to wrap it up with artists and residents program with Christine and Jennifer and um, our website and contact information. And don't forget this weekend, um, Christine has, what was the name of the, the project you guys are gonna do this weekend? Oh, I think you're on mute. There we go. We are gonna uh, make cyanotypes and we're gonna be doing, we're basically printing with light. So we're gonna celebrate International Light Day, which is today on Saturday, making cyanotypes and making prints using the sun. It'll be really fun. Awesome. And of course, we could not do the Navasota Artist Residence without the city of Navasota and all the things that they do to help support this program. And yeah. so thank you, city of Navasota. And then you'll be hearing more about what we're doing with the city of Bryan and the city of College Station with their two artists and residence programs. And a huge thank you to uh, BCS Modern and uh, a few people in College Station that are gonna help us with housing. So. Thank you so much, ladies. I can't wait for next month to see what all you guys are doing. And hopefully I can even make it out on Saturday. That would be fun. Yeah. Thank you, Sheree. You're hey, welcome. Thanks, Sheree. Y'all have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.